You're watching Fox 13's Good Day Tampa Bay. Uh, we're going to keep the music going. We'll keep the musical theme going because this morning I'm going to take you to the Replay Guitar Exchange. We're in beautiful Britain Plaza in South Tampa, right on South Dale Mabry. You know Britain Plaza, been here forever. And Replay Guitar Museum has been here now three years, 6,000 square feet, started by Kyle Bailey, who said, you know what, I want to give an alternative to the big box stores. I want to I really give customer service and help musicians find the perfect guitar and all of the stuff that go accessories that goes along with the guitar for my clients and customers and that's what he's doing here gonna tell you about the workshops offered here the classes offered here the new the used the repair you got an old guitar you need it repaired amps everything you need to know about guitars dance your way into a I'm monday dancing. everybody and let's all make it a I good like day Tampa Bay. Yeah, thank you for right. this dance jen <laughs> thanks charlie charlie belcher good morning charlie Small fortune, Laura Moody, you know as well as I do. Large fortune, I think. But we'll stick around and hear that story. Uh, if you like guitars, well, you're not alone. The folks at the Replay Guitar Exchange, yeah, they like guitars. Can you tell? It just keeps going and going and going. Uh, electric, acoustic, bass, vintage, new, used, my goodness gracious, 6,000 square feet of guitar heaven if you're into this kind of stuff. And you'll meet some guys who are and have had a pretty successful run here. Three years now. Going to take it to Replay Guitar Exchange in South Tampa when Good Day Tampa Bay continues. Haters I'm going to give five stars to Replay Guitar Exchange. Okay. That's right. Haters going to hate something. Five stars to Replay Guitar Exchange because the owner's uh, within earshot. Uh, but it is a cool place. Some people buy guitars just to hang them on the wall and look at them as, as works of art. That's what I'd have to do since I can't play. But I'm going to tell you about this place when Good Day Tampa Bay continues. If you're into guitars at all, they got them. We are at 3944 Britain Plaza in South Tampa. Replay Guitar Exchange. Good day, Tampa Bay. I'm Charlie Belcher. Kyle Bailey opened this place three years ago. And your really your your motivation was I want to offer something to my customers that they can't get at the big box store. Real one on one interaction, and apparently it's working because three years later you're still in business. Yeah, you know they say time flies when you're having fun, and I can hardly believe it's been three years. But um, you know I felt like there was really a need in the community for a great guitar shop with a big selection and expert staff and service, and uh, so far the community's really responded to us being here. And this is a guitar shop. You're not gonna come in here and rent a saxophone for your kid playing in the high school band. This is, uh, and there's no drums here, no keyboards. This is for the guitar guru. That's right, we have a few uh, folk instruments like banjos and we have bass guitars as well, but as you can see looking around the showroom here, the primary focus is uh, electric and acoustic guitars. New, used, uh, some vintage, some really collectibles. That's right. You know, we buy and sell every day. People bring guitars in the front door. We can either buy them, you know, on the spot, or maybe they might like to trade up for something else. And we do have some vintage guitars tucked away. Repair is a big deal, and you guys do that. Yeah, our luthier stays busy all the time. You know, it takes maybe maybe five to ten days out, but he's always got work doing adjustments and repairs. A luthier? Mm -hmm. Uh, yeah, that's the technical name for him, I guess. Is that know? somebody who, fi who fixes guitars? Is yes, a luthier? that's right. Look at that. <laughs> Word of the day, everybody at home, luthier. Yep. I've never heard of that. I, I, I love learning. Uh, when we come back, we'll talk about some of the clinics they do here and classes they offer. We'll take a closer look at some of these great axes. We'll grind right on them, and we'll, uh, we'll have a good day, Tampa Bay. If you've got an axe to grind, we hope you stick around and have a good day with us. And Charlie Belcher is at Replay Guitar Exchange this morning in South Tampa. Hey, Charlie. Yes, indeed. Britain Plaza, right off South Dale Mabry. And they have got a little bit of everything. They got the electric. They got the bass guitars. And yes, they've got the acoustic guitars. And we're going to go inside the acoustic room here at Replay Guitar Exchange. We're going to talk to Dave about a few of his favorites. And good day, Tampa Bay. And then Charlie is uh, playing the guitar this morning. We're checking with him when we come back. Welcome to the acoustic.
Atlantic Room inside Replay Guitar Exchange at 3944 Britain Plaza, South Tampa. Good day, Tampa Bay. I'm Charlie Belcher. Dave's providing a... That's a nice soundtrack. You know what? That's, a, that's good for a Monday morning. Thank you. Uh, yeah, just hit snooze on the alarm. Go back to sleep. Let's just pretend it's Sunday morning. Very nice. Dave, let's talk acoustic guitars here at uh, Replay Guitar Exchange. All right, if I'm, if I'm just going to get into the hobby, uh, I want to learn how to play guitar, that's where everybody usually starts, right, with an acoustic guitar? Usually, yeah. Um, what, what acoustic guitars do, uh, they're, the strings are a little stiffer. They allow your uh, hand muscles to develop okay. as a young child. So, uh, and you guys do entry as, level, or yeah, as, as a, or as a just adult, a beginner, you've never yeah, done yeah. it. <laughs> uh, entry level guitars, you have them. Yes, sir. Right, and if parents or or even yeah, adults are out there thinking, I want to do that, what what kind of budget are we looking for for a decent entry level guitar? So we have them used sometimes starting at eighty nine dollars, but okay. if you want a good uh, acoustic guitar to learn on, they start at one ninety nine. Okay, and they will last you throughout your whole life. And then, so you've got, inside this room, you've got a little bit of everything, from beginning all the way up, right? New, used? Yes, everything in this room is generally above $1,000. But um, outside of this room, we have new, used, starting at $89. And now, what makes the, the ones in this room so high? Like, like what, what is the, should I even look at this? <laughs> Sorry. Oh there's some sticker shock. Only fifteen thousand. <laughs> fifteen thousand uh, dollars. I'm gonna. I'm not even gonna pick it up. I'm gonna let you hold that. Well, wh uh, why is that? Does that come with a musician? <laughs> uh, this uh, generally the the uh, woods used in the construction of guitars make the price difference. Wow. This is Malegro Brazilian rosewood, which is very rare. Look at that trim there. It's gorgeous. And then um, spruce top. With abalone inlays. Wow. Very high end. And Taylor, that's a big name in acoustic guitars, right? It is, yeah. Martin, Gibson, Taylor are the high end guitars okay. that we carry. Wow. And is that new or did you take that in as an exchange? Or? This is brand new. I'm the only one who's ever played this. Well, no one else, everyone else is afraid to touch it, probably. Yeah, we keep it in the case. Very nice. That's gorgeous. So. And I do want to point out this. So, so this is a pick guard, and the pick guards are, are colored, and they're just random, right? I mean, this is they just. Are. I, how do they do it? Is that the dyes or, or uh, it, it stains? It is. It's or? different uh, different plastics that they use, yeah. and they're just mixed up randomly. And look, there's a message. Do you see the hidden message in the pick guard? Who am I tossing back to? Russell, Laura. Both of us. What does it say? Was Both it? of you. Do you do you see the hidden message? Do you see the F O X? Oh, yeah, there it is. Kind of, right? Yeah, kind of, sort of. Oh, it wasn't there, but they I didn't put Fox. it there on purpose? No, it was it's just a random design of the plastics oh, that they there. melted and put together a pick guard. Now but I can't, I can't see an FOX it. right there. That is an FOX. Right? And it looks like a 13 under there it's that's kind sign. of been distorted. Yes, it is a sign. You're meant to be there. Yeah, I don't. All right, I don't see the 13, but I'm with you. I see, is that, is that the yeah, one? Yeah, like the 13? one. Well, it's getting yeah. there. It, it, yeah. It'll appear. Okay, yeah. No. <laughs> All right. Well, there you go. I'm sorry. I was Impressive. way too excited over that, wasn't I? <laughs> when we come back, I think we're going to plug in and go electric. All right, cool. All right, it's time now to check in again with Charlie Belcher. He's out at Replay Guitar Exchange in South Tampa. I think you're about to kick it up now with a little electric, right? Exactly. Now we're in the amp room, and we're going to amp things up. In fact, Matt is going to amp things up. We'll talk a little electric guitar and some new technology that makes some old amps sound great when Good Day Tampa Bay continues. All right, let's get to Charlie Belcher right now. Let's move on to you. Yeah. Okay. Replay Guitar Exchange. That's where I am. South Tampa. We're in Britain Plaza, right off South Del Mirbury. We're in the amp room. And give you a technical lesson. And uh, bear with me, because I don't know much about technical stuff. But back in the day, we had those big square TVs, and they had tubes in them, glass tubes that uh, made made it work. I'm not, I'm not going to show you this yet. I'm sorry. I'm just I'm just talking with my hands, Jason. I'm sorry. Okay. Uh, and now we have LED TVs, and there are no tubes in them. Well, amps 
Also, amps that you plug a guitar, electric guitar into and, and jam on, they have they had tubes in them. Now that's what they look like, these glass tubes. Well, they do make tubeless amps, but most get electric guitar players like that, that sound that a tube amp gives you, that old classic, that little bit, yeah, just that little rough around the edges sound. This is Matt from Re Replay Guitar Exchange, and I set all of that up to say, there's new technology now that with an iPad or some kind of tablet and this thing, yeah, and it, and it takes that tube amp and does what to it, Matt? Yeah, so this is the aux. What it allows you to do is take a tube amplifier and plug into it, and it'll, it's an interface for your uh, recording application and all, also a live application. And what it does is it allows you to take that tube amp, you can change different cabinet styles, uh, to which changes the sound changes the sound yeah and uh, different uh, uh, microphones um, different styles of microphones so it's a salute you know it's a solution for allowing you to record your tube amplifier and you said it can also control the sound a little more it can muffle if you well, you live in an apartment you know right, your neighbors it, calling it takes you it, it 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 acts as an attenuator which so you can crank your amp up which is really when they sound the best when you're when you're cranking your amp uh, but it allows you to turn it down to a bedroom level or a practice level at, at home. Interesting. Yeah. Uh, and, and that's the kind of education you can get here at Replay Guitar Exchange. Sure. Uh, and and the, as far as electric guitars go uh, and amps and equipment, I mean, you guys run the gamut you know, from, yeah. from A to Z. New and used. Um, we've got used guitars that you can get uh, under $100 and uh, certainly... Uh, uh, you know, American-made and collectible guitars that, that go up as, as much as you want. Well, how about amp repair? Because isn't, isn't that a thing if you're, some, you need to somebody yeah, we, work on your amp once in a while? Yeah, we do uh, have a, someone who works with us. Uh, doesn't work directly for us, but we can refer you to, to someone to, to get your amp Gotcha, fixed. and the guitar repair you guys definitely Absolutely, do Absolutely, we do that all. We have got a great repair guy. 13 years at the custom shop over at Dean Guitars. You know, he's, oh, yeah. he's great. Nice. Matt, thank you very much. Yeah. There you go, Russell Rhodes. That was my, that was my explanation of a, of a tube. All right. Tube TVs. Been a long time, man. A long time ago. Yeah. All right. Yep. And then Charlie. See you later. Replay Guitar Exchange in Tampa. Good morning. Have you ever seen such a thing? Look at this. It's like a banjo ukulele. Yeah, what is it? It's a banjo lele. Or a, a, a ukulele, Joe. <laughs> Why are there so many songs about rainbows? Oh, oh I wish I, I could sing or play an instrument. Songs. Well, it's on the yeah. Rainbows are visions, not illusions. I don't know. I don't know the words, but I like that song. Anyway, I've never seen such a thing. Uh, uh, we are at uh, uh, Replay Guitar Exchange. They do have some mandolins, some ukuleles, banjos, and whatever those things are called. Look at this. Lessons here. Plenty of lesson rooms. They've got it all here. They do clinics and workshops every once in a while. And if you have a guitar that needs a little repair, they've got a workshop here where they will help you get it strung, get it fixed up brand new. And when we come back, we're going in there. We're slapping the bass, man. Yeah, we're going in the bass room when Good Day Tampa Bay continues from South Tampa. And then Charlie is at the uh, Replay Guitar Exchange in Tampa. We're going to check in with him coming up next. Good day, Tampa Bay. I'm Charlie Belcher coming to you from South Tampa this morning. We're in Britain Plaza right off South there, Mabry, at Replay Guitar Exchange. And this is a guitar shop. Now, we've also got basses and uh, other things with strings, but you're not going to find any brass or woodwind, and you're not going to find violins or cellos or violas here. It is really about, uh, it's about the axes. That's what it is here. Uh, Sean is a bass player and has been for 30 years now. That's the cool thing about these shops is usually the, the, the men and women who work in places like this are performers themselves. Right, right. So you become automatically uh, an expert that people can ask questions uh, yes, when you come in. That's true. Why the bass? Why, why the bass for you, Sean? Well, I chose the bass because I like that we control the band along with the drummer. Yeah. And I always wanted to be the front person, not be a singer. Yeah. But I wanted to have that front row with the bass. I'm telling you, man, if I had it to do all over again, I would learn how to play bass. <laughs> There's just something cool. You're right. You're kind of, and you're, you realize once you understand music a little bit that that, 
the 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 person playing bass, you are kind of con you and the drummer. That's right, we're the you're, backbone. Of yeah, music. you're controlling the song. That's really, right. that's right. Certainly the beat. You want can you riff a little bit for oh, me? Oh yeah. Sure. That's really that's pretty. That's nice. I can listen to that all day. Now, now I start sound like the theme to says the Seinfeld show. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah, I love it. Uh, so, and the, as far as the the variety of bases you have available here, my goodness, again, runs the gamut. You got new, used, vintage. You can spend a lot or a little. Yeah, we have from beginners to pros. Uh, we have a wide selection of bases. We we have a lot. Of course, you see a lot of Fenders mm -hmm. style bases, but there are different brands. Like you have the Fenders. We have the Roscoe's and you have the Sur basses. They're all jazz style basses because that's what a lot of people play. But we have also uh, the Squires, and they're they're just like a Fender style bass, but a lower price for beginners and nice. stuff like that. Fantastic, Sean. When are you open here at Replay Guitar Exchange? We open every day from eleven to seven. Seven days a week? Yeah, seven. No, we are, we're closed on Sundays. Closed on Sundays. Sundays. So, Monday, so you can Monday. play in church. In fact, you were playing oh, oh, in church yeah, yesterday, oh, yeah, right? Oh, yeah. I love it yeah, in church. That new, is that a new guitar? Yeah, that's a new one. That's yeah, a brand you just new. broke it in yesterday? Just broke it Shout in. Shout out to your church. Where do you go to church? Well, First Presbyterian, downtown Zach Street. There you go. Yeah. Well, Shay, you want to hear uh, Sean on bass? Of course, you also plays with a band called Apartment... Apartment 9. Apartment 9. So look for Sean at Apartment 9 or go to church and hear him. I love oh, it. Or come down here, replay Guitar Exchange. Monday through Saturday. I'm with you, Charlie. Tampa. I love that sound of them picking at it, kind of, you know that. I know, I know. Play, play us out, Sean. Play us out. I know. Right? There's just something cool about that sound, man. Yes, it is. All right. Charlie Belcher, thank you.